Hey, what's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 11 running on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is not a Linux distro skin to look like Windows 11, and for this I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4 4 GB model with a cheap little cooler you can get on Amazon, and the operating system is going to be running from a 240GB SSD. Now, as making this video, it's the newest development build of Windows 11. This is the ARM x64 version. This is not a tutorial on how to get it set up because it's still really early, but I do want to draw your attention over to Lee PSP's YouTube channel. He does a lot with Windows on the Raspberry Pi. He's got a ton of tutorials, and I'm sure he'll be releasing a tutorial very soon. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. In this video, we're just going to take a quick look at how this performs, but keep in mind it's still really early. But in my opinion, this is pretty awesome to get Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4 basically day one. Because when it comes down to it, as of making this video, Windows 11 was released on the Windows Insider program as long as you're on the dev channel today. And the ARM 64-bit version is bootable on the Raspberry Pi using Windows on Raspberry Pi, or WOR. It's actually pretty easy to install, but like I mentioned, Lee PSP will have a tutorial up soon, so definitely keep an eye on his channel. Now, I have run into a few issues when trying to capture the screen of the Raspberry Pi 4 running Windows 11. My Elgato HD60 just doesn't like this, so I had to go and record a few different times. But we're going to go ahead and move over to screen capture so we can take a better look at this thing. Alright, so here we go. Windows 11 Pro running on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is really early. It's a development build. It's a very early development build. It actually just released today, but it is running on the Pi 4. If we head over to the task manager, as you can see, we have that BCM 2711, Cortex A72 because it's the Pi 4. We're only at 1.5 gigahertz. Unfortunately, we cannot overclock right now. This is a 4 gigabyte Raspberry Pi, but this will work on a 2 and an 8 gigabyte model. Ethernet's working. I'm also getting sound, but unfortunately, when this is connected to my game capture, I can't get sound. And I've been having a lot of issues recording the screen here with my Elgato HD60. Now, uh, as for everything working, it seems to be doing a pretty decent job for the UI and even web browsing. If you want to get into some gameplay with some Windows Store games, it's going to be a bit hard. We will take a look at Minecraft, trying to run on this in a second. But uh, we do have Calculator, so if you just want to set this up for Calculator, this is working. Let's open up the Edge browser and check out some video playback from YouTube. So give it a second to load up here. It's actually way faster than I thought it would be. We'll head over here. Over Ethernet, it's pretty snappy. I mean, for this running on a 1.5 gigahertz quad core, low end ARM CPU, it's not all that bad. So let's check out a 4K demo here. We're not going to be running in 4K. I guarantee you it's just not going to hold up very well. But we'll try this sharp demo. And we're going to take this to 720p, but I want to uh, turn stats for nerds on here. And I want to make sure we're at 720. We'll see what happens. And we're getting a ton of drop frames. I knew this was going to be the case. Let's check out what that CPU is doing. Pegged out all four cores, 100% here. And we're just dropping a ton of frames. It's actually, it uh, was froze up for a second. Let's see if we can even do 480 here. Now keep in mind, this was never meant to run on a Raspberry Pi 4. And at 480, it's working great. We're not getting any drop frames. It's actually powering through this pretty good, but uh, we're at 480p. So yeah, not great at all. We do have the Windows App Store. And uh, like I said, we will check out Minecraft, but some of the new features that I personally like about Windows 11 are available here, like that multi-snap feature. If we hover over here, we'll just take this over to the left-hand side. Let's uh, bring this in the top right-hand side. And I had one more settings here. We'll go to the bottom right-hand side. So yeah, that new snap feature will come in handy. I know I'll use it a lot on a real Windows 11 PC, but it is working here with the Raspberry Pi 4. So uh, I did go ahead and download Minecraft. Let me load this up. 
I'm sure it's going to take a while and I don't think we're going to get great performance, but let me go ahead and set up my task manager again. I shouldn't have even closed it down. I just want to see what this thing's going to be doing and I can almost guarantee it, it'll be pegged out on all four cores, but I'm going to give this a second to load up and see what it can do here. So yeah, this isn't great in a flat world with uh, less population. We're at around six to 12 FPS. In a fully populated world with trees and water, I was at around 2 to 3 FPS. This is an x86 app here. This was never meant to be run on the Raspberry Pi. And for 3D games with really no GPU acceleration, uh, this is still pretty bad. I mean, it's definitely going to be unplayable. But then again, it's the first day of Windows 11 on the Pi. Maybe in the future it will get better. I don't suspect it will on the Raspberry Pi 4, but maybe in the next iterations, the Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi 6, We'll get some good performance with Windows 11 and gaming. So as it sits right now, it's a no-go with gaming at least 3D games. I'm sure there are some 2D games and some older emulators that would probably work on here, just like they did with Windows 10. But when it comes to running Windows on the Raspberry Pi 4, I just don't see this as a viable operating system. Something that you're going to daily drive. It's just not going to happen with the Pi 4. But who knows, maybe with the Pi 5. Last thing I wanted to check out here was just a little bit of web browsing. Because uh, even though I'm connected over Ethernet, it did work out much better than I thought it would. So first up, let's head over to the Raspberry Pi website. We'll just go ahead and load this up. And it's actually pretty snappy. I mean, it's loading up pretty good here. Got all of our images uh, populated. Next one, let's just go over to uh, Microsoft's website. And we'll check out the uh, Windows section right here. And that one hit a little harder. I mean, it was never meant to be run on a Raspberry Pi. And to see it running day one is still pretty cool, in my opinion. Let's check paint real quick. I actually forgot that this was going to even be in here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't take much to do that. We're not going to save it. But overall, when it comes down to it, it is up and running. I don't have Wi-Fi. Sound is working, like I mentioned, but when it's connected like this over my game capture, I just can't get it to work. If it was plugged directly into my monitor or TV, I am getting sound over HDMI. So as you saw, the ARM version of Windows 11 is running on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is definitely not a daily driver. I just thought it was a pretty cool video to make because it came out day one. I mean, we were able to get this up and running on the Pi 4 day one of the Insider release, and I think that's pretty cool. If any major improvements happen in the next few weeks, I will do another video just to show you what we can do with this thing. But if you're interested in installing this, I would definitely check out Lee PSP's YouTube channel. He does a lot of great stuff with the Raspberry Pi, and he has some awesome tutorials. And I'm sure he'll be making a Windows 11 tutorial very soon. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If there's anything else you want to see running on the Raspberry Pi 4, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.